it's inherently hopeful to plant a seed because you hope that it grows. Who's far? The people have taken over the land and tried to rescue it. We brought up the rototillers, then we brought up the compost, and then we brought up the plants, and it was just like, wow, we're really doing this. You are trespassing. We are ordering you to leave. We will regain control of that property. Earth Day demonstration is turning into a standoff between occupiers and UC Berkeley. This is a fight about the allocation of an asset. Land. It's the last really prime soil in the East Bay to grow food on. This is where the proposed Whole Foods would be. It's not just a Whole Foods, but it's also an assisted living center for senior citizens, and I believe some retail space. If they're left to their own devices, the guild tract will be reduced to a garden box. We believe this land should be permanently preserved for urban agriculture. They think a public asset means they can use it the way they want to use it. It's really not the way we look at it. Our main concern is water right now. The university actually shut off our water. What we're going to be doing is handing buckets over the fence. At about 6 a.m., we were woken up by some police over the megaphone. Force would be used against them if necessary, and that force could have included chemical agents. The university escalated the impacts, filing a lawsuit against 15 named individuals. You say it's a scare tactic. Does it scare anybody? Well, we're committed to farming this land, and we're going to stay here and keep farming. I need control back of this site. Somebody ran by saying, cops, riot cops, lots of riot cops. This is public lands. We are giving it away. What they have done is given a wake-up call to the whole community. The whole point of this is to not talk about what we want and to not demand what we want, but to make what we want real. And this community, and this community will not abandon.